This video provides instruction on how to identify key information for quadratic functions written in vertex form. So vertex form is f of x or v of x here equals a times x minus h squared plus k. You can also have an equation notation with y equals instead. We're going to be looking at transformations from the parent function, how to identify those. Uh, we'll look at how you can quickly identify the axis of symmetry and the vertex from this form. And then how you identify the y-intercept. And then, it, and once you have the y-intercept, how do you find a symmetrical point for the y-intercept? Let's take a look at our first example here. We have y equals negative 2 times x minus 7 squared plus 3. So how do you identify if it opens up or down? We simply look at the a value. If it's positive, it opens up. If it's negative, it opens down. So this opens down. And so what actually happened there, there was a reflection over the x-axis from the negative value makes it a reflection over the x-axis so now the parabola opens down all right um, does it have a vertical dilation the way we tell that is again also looking at the a value the negative two and then we go if the absolute value of that is greater than one then we know it has a vertical dilation that is stretched so that's going to be the case here it's stretched if that a value is between 0 and 1, that should say the absolute value of that is between 0 and 1, then it would be compressed. And if the absolute value of A is 1, then there's no vertical dilation. Axis of symmetry, this is real simple. From our equation, we can identify the H and K values. So when it says X minus 7 squared, we know that H actually equals positive 7, right? Because the, the form is X minus H, so when you see that, we know the 7 is actually positive. And then the k value is 3. So for our axis of symmetry, it's just simply x equals h. So it's going to be x equals 7. Then the vertex is h comma k. So our vertex is simply 7 comma 3. The y-intercept now, don't make the mistake. The k value is not the y-intercept. That's People make that mistake thinking about standard form where the c value, the, the constant number, is the, is the y-intercept but not in this form. So what we have to do is we have to find the y-intercept and to find that we're simply going to substitute zero in for x and then solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. y equals negative two parentheses zero minus seven squared plus three. So y equals negative seven squared <clears throat> is 49. <clears throat> so excuse me. 49 times negative 2 is negative 98. Negative 98 plus 3 is going to be negative 95. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 95. All right. So now it says, hey, what, what's the symmetrical point for this? So find the symmetrical point, you just got to think about the graph. Okay. So let's just think about the graph here. Our axis of symmetry is at x equals 7. So here's our axis of symmetry, x equals 7. My point is 0, negative 95, so it's way downtown. I'm just going to put it here, right? And so symmetrical point is going to go at 7 away from the line of symmetry, the axis of symmetry, 7, right? So I'm going to go another 7 units to the right of that. What would that point be? Well, 7 plus 7 is 14. So that point is going to be 14, comma, negative 95. Our next example, y equals <clears throat> x plus 4 squared minus 8. So we don't see a number in front of the parentheses. That means that a is 1. So a equals 1. It's positive. We know then that it opens up. Since the a value is 1, we know it's just like the parent function, so there's no vertical dilation as far as the curvature goes of the parabola. The line of symmetry, well, let's see. It says x plus 4. So that means it's really saying x minus negative 4, right? So that means h is negative 4, and our k value is the negative 8. So my line of symmetry here is going to be x equals negative 4. Our vertex is the point negative 4, comma, negative 8. All right, so let's find the y-intercept. We're going to substitute 0 in for x. So we're going to get y equals 
I'm going to go ahead and just do this pretty quick. 0 plus 4 is, is 4, so we're going to have 4 squared minus 8. But realize I plugged in 0 for x. Okay, so that's going to give me y equals 16 minus 8. So y equals 8. So my y-intercept is 0, comma, 8. All right, let's think about how we're going to figure out the, the symmetrical point for 0, 8. So our line of symmetry this time was at x equals negative 4. So here's my line of symmetry. And then my, my point was 0, 8, so somewhere up here. All right, so how far away am I from the axis of symmetry? I'm 4 units away. I'm 4 to the right of x equals negative 4. So now that means I need to go 4 to the left of x equals negative 4. So think about that. If you go 4 left of negative 4, it's like you're saying negative 4 minus 4 is going to be negative 8. So that point there is going to be negative 8, comma, 8. That's your symmetrical point. Now we have y equals one third times x minus three squared minus nine. So again, a equals one third. We know that h equals positive three and k equals negative nine from that equation. So since the a value is positive, we know it opens up. Um, since it's one third, that's a number that's between zero and one. So there is a vertical dilation, and this time it is compressed. Compressed, so it's going to be a wider parabola. Uh, the axis of symmetry is simply x equals 3. Our vertex is 3 comma negative 9. Our y-intercept, again, we're going to substitute 0 in for x. So we're going to get y equals 1 third times I'm going to go ahead and do negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is 9. So this will be 1 third times 9 minus 9. So we're going to get y equals 3 minus 9. Y equals negative 6. So it's 0, negative 6. All right. My symmetrical point, let's think about what this looks like on the graph. So if I take my graph here, I have... My line of symmetry is x equals 3. So it's like right here. And then my y-intercept is at 0, negative 6. So maybe somewhere down here. So I'm what? 3 units to the left of the line of symmetry. So I'm going to go whoop to the other side. I'm going to go 3 units to the right of the line of symmetry. So all I do is I go from 3 plus 3 more is going to be 6. So my symmetrical buddy here is 6, comma, negative 6. Notice when I do these, the y, the y value for the symmetrical point is always the same. So from the y-intercept, the y-coordinate is negative 6. The symmetrical point is also have the y-coordinate is going to be negative 6. That will always stay the same. The only thing that's going to change is the x value for the symmetrical points. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.